And with me now is a South African musician and popular Christian TV host who spent time in Israel as part of a spiritual journey to learn more about archaeology, technology, and culture, merging history with modern with the modern day present Israel. Luisa Vala filmed a docuseries on his travels to the Holy Land. It's called Israel Unveiled, and it's airing on TBN, a British Christian television channel. Here's a look. Hi, I'm Luis Ovala, and I am embarking on an epic journey of discovery through Israel. If you want to walk the footsteps of the Bible, where else would you go? I've come here to understand the biblical truth found in its archaeology, its science and technology, and its people's fascinating culture. Brother, you're on an adventure right now, and I'm excited for you. It's going to be an awesome journey, and so I invite you to come with me as we unveil Israel. And Luiso is with me now. Thank you so much for taking the time. I want to ask you, if I can, first, what surprised you most about your time in Israel? What really uh, was something that you learned or saw that you were not expecting? Okay, cool. This is going to sound a bit weird because I should really be saying something profound right now. But uh, I always thought that Africa had the best food in the world, you know, because most of the stuff that we eat here is organic. Um, but I must say, for me, the one thing that I missed about Israel, uh, which was which was a surprise this time around, because obviously I was not a, you know I was not part of the tour, but um, I was with Israelis and we're going around finding these places, meeting real people this time around. Um, so for me, man, the food was so good. That's about the only thing that I spoke about um, <laughs> when I got back. What yeah. did you? What do? You, what's your impression um, of the Israeli people. I mean, you, you studied Jewish history, ancient Jewish history in the Israelite uh, kingdoms, and you've met, and you also talk about and learned about modern Israeli life and culture. What are your impressions, really, of the, the way the country is running? Um, you know, the other times, because this was like my fourth time coming to Israel. And, um, and so when you come on a tour, you've obviously got everything kind of kind of set, you know. Um, it's the same. You're probably going to get the same tour as a tourist yeah. that everybody else has had over the past 20 years. Um, this time around was different because I was not only just learning about the historical part um, or the history of Israel or rather even the history, the, the history of Christianity, which comes from there. But um, I was meeting modern day people. Um, I even took some time to go to Tel Aviv and to spend some time there, you know, going to check out the the technology that is happening. Um, it was wonderful, you know, uh, visiting the Paris Center, um, for instance, you know, seeing the innovation that's taken, uh, that's taken place there. And then also the hospitals as well, um, in terms of, you know, like what Israel is doing, not only just um, for its own nation, but, but, but really for other nations. Um, and I guess also the other takeaway was that, you know, this is a country that doesn't be, you, you know, uh, that people don't find a home. You don't have to be Israeli or Jewish to find a home, but you can be Christian, you can be Muslim, because really most of, um, I, I think they call it the monos the monastic uh, religions come from, you know, that come from Israel, and everybody kind of regards that as a home. Uh, what will people learn, uh, even if they've been to Israel before, when they tune in to Israel Unveiled on TBN? So I must tell you a quick story, right? So my mom, um, she called me, and I was in Israel. This was about, I think, the, the third time I went. And she asked me, so where are you? And I said, I'm in Galilee. So my mom, who lives in the Eastern Cape here in South Africa, um, she just started laughing, you know? She said, I never thought that I'd ever ask someone, where are you? And they say that they're in Galilee. Because to me, these places have always just been a myth, mm -hmm. you know? Um, uh, we sing about Jerusalem. We sing about Jeru the new Jerusalem and Jerusalem being a home. We read in the scriptures, you know, to pray for, the, uh, for, for Jerusalem. We read that Christ has made us one with the, you know, like with the Jewish people. But I think a lot of South Africans and maybe uh, a lot of people throughout the whole of Africa, they actually do not know that Israel is a real place. And as much as they see it on the news, up until they see someone who they know who's actually in Israel and they're showing them these things, suddenly the whole place just comes to life. Uh, um, so, Louis, so can so I, that's what I hope people will see. Uh, can I ask also, just as someone you know, who's proud uh, of your origins in South Africa and loves South African life and history and culture, just now, of course, we're hearing so many anti-Israel activists or BDS activists, they reference always South African apartheid in talking about Israel. Everything is compared to South African apartheid, Israel as an apartheid state. What are your thoughts on that comparison? Does it bother you? 
You know, some of the times I wonder whether I know um, I know enough. And so um, I think as a South African, it's very hard to, because now what you're speaking about is that you're speaking about the state, you know, like of, um, of, of Israel, which is, which is quite political. But I think one thing that someone can never take away from me is the fact that, you know, um, Israel is my home. And the reason I say that is that um, um, my, my, my flesh and my blood belongs to Africa. But when my spirit came to life was 2,000 years ago when Jesus died on the cross. And, th and, and that happened in Jerusalem. So I always say that, you know what, it doesn't matter if Jerusalem was in Saudi Arabia and South Africa didn't have good relations with them, I would still go there because I regard it as home. Um, so so that's really just my, you know, like just my attitude to everything that's happening right now. But I think also, you know, um, um, not enough is said. I think it's a little bit one-sided what we're hearing about, um, about, um, about Israel and obviously, you know, the Holy Land, as we like to know. And um, I think it's important that we really just try and get other voices that are going to join the debate um, so that we can all just kind of find a solution to what's happening. All right. Larissa Obala, again, uh, Israel Unveiled, airing weekly on TBN. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Larissa. Thank you so much. Glad that you love the food here. Hope to have you back once again on another visit to the Holy Land. As soon, as soon as this whole thing is over, I'm going to be there. All right, we'll, I'll catch, you, we'll yes. catch you on that first flight. Thank you, Larissa. We'll have you in studio here okay. on Zoom <laughs> yeah. in. Yes.